I want you to each give us your dream amendment that you think might help get us out of some of what we're in. Fernando, starting with you. Uh, considering the uh, systemic electoral corruption that's been brought about by Citizens United, I don't know what the amendment would be called, but it would limit campaign donations and they would take corporations out of a democracy that's meant for people. You seem to get three-fifths of the vote right here. <laughs> Latoya, you next. Okay, so um, I believe in the democratic process. I, I do. I believe that we have to do more work with engaging and empowering our people at the grassroots level. I think there's a big disconnection, and I don't think that we're doing the most that we can do everyday people uh, in our neighborhoods. I, I just don't believe that. So I do believe in the democratic process. In terms of an amendment, oh, man, I don't know. I, I just I don't know right now. You definitely so love the First Amendment, so you're going to keep that one. Well, I'm not, yeah, I absolutely. I don't think about taking away. I think it's maybe adding on, but um, it would definitely be aligned with um, a strategy to get more people elected that are still beholden to the values which make our country great and that are really connected to the people on the ground that they're really supposed to be serving. And right now, there feels to be, and there is a disconnection. Thank you. And Secretary Fox, close us out. Yeah, I, look, I, I agree with the Citizens United Amendment. Um, I think it has been uh, a negative impact on politics. Um, but I want to finish by saying one thing that Abraham, I'm paraphrasing Abraham Lincoln, uh, uh, who said that um, the American people can meet any national crisis if they just have the facts. And I think that one of the big answers here is no matter whether somebody's in a you know, red district or blue district, I think we've gotta just continue working to make sure we're arming the American people with what's coming around the corner, what the issues are, what the facts are, and let them decide. Uh, and I think we've just got a cottage industry made worse by Citizens United that shapes public opinion based on uh, a circus mirror, and we've got to change that as, as an American public. We've just got to demand the real information.